Super Mario 3 has a secret menu, a debug mode left behind by the developers. Debug modes are typically used for testing and troubleshooting games during development, and give the player things like unlimited lives and power-ups. Usually, these modes are completely removed from a game before it ships, but Super Mario 3's debug mode actually shipped on the cartridge, which means that every copy can access these features. This is not even limited to the original NES version. Debug modes have also been found in the Super Nintendo Super Mario All-Stars release, as well as the Game Boy Advance's Super Mario Advance 4. In this video, we'll explore the intricacies of Nintendo's debug mode for all three versions. Let's talk about how to access this debug mode in the original NES version of Super Mario 3. It's surprisingly simple. All you need is a Game Genie and this code, triple K Z S P I U. When you're at the title screen and press start, you're taken to the debug menu that overlays the title screen. It's a bit hard to see, but this is where you can select the world that you want to start in. It's thought that Nintendo tried to remove this menu from the game, so now none of the text or graphics load for this menu. It still works, so I guess it's fine. Just press up and down on the d-pad and the arrow, or Mario's ear, will move up and down and let you select the world you want to start on. There's a lot more this menu does. Every press of the A button grants you 5 extra lives, up to a maximum of 99. You can also do some button combos with the second controller. Pressing A, B, and down at the same time takes you directly to the princess cutscene at the end of the game. You can also skip ahead even further by pressing the A, B, and right buttons. This will take you to the curtain call. These shortcuts were likely put in place when creating these cutscenes to quickly test them out and make sure they run as they should. The presentation of this menu is not polished, to say the least. It's clear something happened to this menu, likely being that Nintendo was finished with it and dismantled it as an attempt to hide this feature before the game's release. However, more of this debug menu has been discovered within the game's code. The Cutting Room Floor, a website dedicated to uncovering hidden content in games, has released an IPS file that restores some of this menu's functionality. Originally, it was accessible from the one-player, two-player menu when the second player held down A and B. The game still detects these button presses, but the instructions to launch the debug mode are absent. Starting a new game with debug mode activated, you'll notice that your inventory is now filled with every power-up available. If you use a power-up, it does remove it from your inventory like normal, but as you'll see in a moment, it's not a big deal if you want to play around with Mario's power-ups. You can only use the power-ups in your inventory once, so you can't start every stage with a star or use the cloud to skip multiple stages. I mean, if you want to do that, this Game Genie code allows you to keep your power-ups in the inventory after you use them. It's a nice add-on to the debug mode. Okay, so here's the best part. While in-game, pressing the select button lets you cycle through all of Mario's power-ups. This includes every suit in the game, even the rarer ones like the Tanuki suit and the hammer suit. If you play the game like this, you can instantly have a frog suit whenever you need one. It's awesome. But that's not all. If you hold either A and B and press select, it makes Mario hop into a Goomba's shoe, a rare power-up normally only found in a single stage of the game. The shoe was such an obscure power-up. First, you had to make it all the way to World 5-3, starting from the beginning of the game because Super Mario 3 has no saved games. Then, you had to know to get underneath the Goomba and make sure you hit him from the bottom to clean out the shoe. You couldn't get it if you hit him from the top. The shoe went seriously underused in the game, but with debug mode, you can use it anywhere. Now, of course, it was never meant to be seen outside World 5-3, so most of the time when you use it, the Goomba's shoe graphics are missing. The game doesn't load the shoe graphics into memory for every type of stage, so when you're not in a stage with the shoe graphics, it puts the shoe together using non-shoe tiles, leading to some interesting results. The debug mode also features infinite time. While the timer still counts down, reaching zero doesn't result in losing a life. This will let you take as much time as you need in each stage, which comes in handy, especially when experimenting with the different power-ups. The Super Mario All-Stars version of Super Mario 3 actually has two debug modes. This version of Super Mario 3 is a port based on the original NES code, and also includes the debug mode from the original game, though it is somewhat limited in comparison. To access the original debug mode, you can use an action replay or an emulator. The game checks memory address 7E0160 during boot up, 
and by setting this value to 80, it will enable the debug mode. In this version, you still have access to all the power-ups by cycling through them with a select button, and you can pop into Goomba's shoe by hitting select and Y. But that jacked up title screen is long gone, so you can't select the stage you want to start in. Now Super Mario All-Stars also has its own debug mode that works across all the games on the cartridge. You can enable it by using this code in an emulator. In Super Mario Bros. 3, this code will let you do some amazing things. First, you can select your power-up with the X button. You can also hit select to give yourself a star at any time. The best feature here is when you press the A button, you're put into free roaming mode where you can move Mario up and down and all around the screen. You can still die in this mode, but it's a great feature for exploring the different stages in the game. Another awesome feature of the All-Stars debug mode is the ability to freeze all animation by pressing L and R at the same time. You can then press R to advance the game frame by frame, and when you're done, hit L to unfreeze. This would have been a great tool for Nintendo to analyze sprite behavior, making sure everything plays out as it should. So what about the port to Game Boy Advance? Is there a debug mode in Super Mario Advance 4? Yes! Well, sort of. The debug mode is there, but it hasn't been totally figured out yet. You can enable it by using this code in the MGBA emulator. Then just enable and disable the code to be dropped into the menu. This menu is in Japanese, so I'll put some translations on screen here. Essentially, this code lets you test out the e-card stages, the challenge mode, time attack, even a strange one called scenario mode. But unfortunately, this menu is, for the most part, useless. You can navigate around, however, when attempting to enter these modes, the game tries to jump to an invalid address and ultimately crashes. Even the emulator crashes. Currently, it's unclear if Nintendo just removed parts of this, or if we're accessing this menu in an improper way, but unfortunately, it doesn't work. And whatever the case, this debug mode leaves more questions than answers. Again, it's a shame that it doesn't work, but I find these little insights into the development of classic Super Mario games endlessly fascinating, and I hope you do too. So which one do you guys like best? The NES debug mode with all the cool features like level select and an inventory full of power-ups? The Super Nintendo ports with two debug modes, the free roaming mode, freeze frame, not to mention better graphics, or the advanced port for Game Boy Advance that looks like it had a nice interface but currently doesn't work. The All-Stars version stands out as a personal favorite. It's too bad it's missing the level skip feature, but with the free roaming mode and still being able to switch power-ups, I gotta say, it's my favorite. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for your time today, guys. Goodbye.